But you know why Gene's mad at Puff, bro? Yeah. Because he didn't help pay for a funeral. What's good, y'all? It's your boy Dan. We back with another one, man. Gene Deal. Been going at Puff for years. We all know. He goes live. He got a channel. He used to do security. Did you know he's also related to K-Slay? Cousins. Whacking K-Slay tight. But he going to tell you why Gene is really mad at Puff. Let's get to it. Like his daughters. Whose daughters? His daughters. That's the only people stay with Gene? Yeah. Let me tell you, I know you ain't family. I'm going to say something I probably shouldn't say because the world don't know. The, the child that people don't know case they have stays with Gene. And you would know that. No, I wouldn't because... You I definitely would. You hold family. On, hold on. Hold on, K. Slay has a child. On, the world on, don't even know K. Slay got listen, a child. I ain't know but, that. Listen, bro. but how many listen. times have you ever heard about Ch K. Slay having a child? Never. Ch never. K. Slay has a daughter. Never, never heard okay? that. Okay, that stays with Gene. I has never stayed with Gene even when K. Slay was alive because Slay was on the old rules. And I want niggas to know with the snatch and grab type. So the only thing you, I knew about was if you was Gene, listen, him, if you if you listen, if you his family as far as y'all build and know each other, that's one thing. But if you was his family family, brother, you would know that. And I would have met you, bro. He's not a bro. I ain't never been around you, what? I ain't never seen you. Hold on, he's not he's not he's not he's not he's he's not 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 Suge had to go to New York. He needed a few things. I sent Slay over there to meet him and take him to a few strip points. I wasn't even there. Sugar just popped into town last minute. I called Slay, made a few things happen for him. Now, if you would have been with Gene, you would have known what we, what we did. Now, brother, listen. Gene was the driver to pick Slay up, pick the models up. and he ran That's his cousin, him. nigga. What, what you mean? So, I know who he is, bro. What his you mean, cousin, then, bro? Listen, he's not his cousin through DNA. He's his cousin through the daughter that lives with him. You didn't know that. Come on, brother. They are not DNA. But the woman he has a child by is Gene's family. You would have known these things. That's how they related, bro. Duh, but, 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 but I'm saying, you act like he was like a, a monkey. No, I'm telling you what Gene was, bro. Everybody know K Slay don't know how to drive, bro. He don't drive cars. Right? You gotta drive him around. And he don't like to fly. Nobody said he a flunky. That's a very important. I mean, you know where he lives. You got him with you. You know his movement. And you have his only fan seat in the world. That's not flunky, bro. What are you talking about? Where do you get that from? Because you said that that he was a he was his a driver. So my nigga, our... you got a man that does not know how to drive a vehicle do you know how vulnerable you are do you know who has to sit in that seat it got to be somebody you trust my nigga facts slay tried to drive when he was 16 years old ran over fire hydrant the fucking the fucking stop, people, never tried to do it again right so that's not a flunky that's a that you trust so but this is how i know <laughs> You really wasn't around because if you was around, some of these okay, where Slay live? He he dead and gone now. What street he live on? Bro, I never was around K Slay. I was Bro, around. if you around Gene, you automatically around Slay. Listen, I was never around K Slay. That's like a nigga being around who ain't around, around me. I was Whether around I a nigga around me or not, you gonna be around me. He gonna bring you. What? Like I just said, I never was around K Slay. I was around puffing him. Oh, like you know what I'm saying? I don't know nothing about that comment. Hey yo. This is why he called his uncle. Come on. He was uh, trying to have his uncle. Now when it comes nasty to Rambo. Nasty. When it comes to Rambo, I'm one of those realest guys. I don't give a f who you become, how much money you made, none of that. You can never forget the seed in the root. Rambo knew cash first. 
Rambo come up with my older brothers. He knew the little guy. Five, six years old, should throw rocks at his car because they wouldn't let me get in. Rambo knew that guy. He watched the guy play football sports, watched him start game banging. Was one of the reasons why I'm probably the lie today, because he used to trick me and my squad into making us babysit his son to get us off the streets. That's my big homie. That's my G homie. I don't give a what I got going on or whatever. He's going to always be that. I need a ride from him, and he's never asked me for a ride, right? So don't ever get that mistaken. It's one of the forefathers, first generations of my neighborhood. He watched me rise to a Whatever street name I had, he watched me go through every level of my life. From a kid to gang banging, to sports, to court, to jail, to Y, to prison, to out, to trucking, to right now, right? That's who Rambo is. So I can't, nobody could ever say um, his big brother is one of the that taught me how to fight. He used to whoop all our till we fall back, right? So in the day, uh, that's who that is. He know more about me than me because some I probably ain't gonna remember because I was a little. He ain't gotta ask me for nothing. Kiss my. You want to come get a car? You want to come get a motorcycle? Whatever the. He want to come get use the studio. His son that's probably about thirty something. Me and my whole little crew that was the of the neighborhood. Nobody with Rambo because the squad that did those heinous things in the neighborhood was us. Right, he kept things from us. His business because he had disputes. He know we heard about it. We was gonna do what we did. He wanted to deal with it differently. So, the back of the Nissan trucks back then, we would jump in the back of his truck. He wouldn't get out. So he was stuck with us for days at a time. So that's my G homie, my big homie on 47. He'll always be that. I will never overstep my boundaries and call him or see him as less than that. We argue, we fuss, we do all that. Don't talk for two, three months, but at the end of the day, it's going to be what it's going to be. So that's who he is. Well, that was the bullets. That nigga slid up out the room when he was just talking. You know, you know he did. What? Bullets, y'all see what it is. Brother, I'm not saying you don't know me. I I don't know you. No, no, no. What I'm saying is is that the narrative you... That's not what I'm about to ask you. I was going to ask you was... What's up? People think, you know, just because Gene was, you know, trying to help Puff or whatever, whatever, right? But they think, you know, Puff tried, you know, my Uncle Gene. They like, oh, you know, he tried them this and this, this now. Well, you know why Gene's mad at Puff, bro? Yeah. Because he didn't help pay for a funeral. You well, know so that, right? what, what year did Gene, yeah. what year did he stop with him, what? what bro, late did? 90s, bro. Gene ain't been around That's Puff, 25, 26. Uh, okay. So look, so look, that's how I know this little nigga right here is lying. That's how I know this little nigga is lying. So yo, Puff, he came back. Hold on, hold on. He came back. He came back working with Puff because of Wolf. Wolf bought him back. Yeah, that was in the early two thousands, nigga. Wolf died in two thousand and five. Let me tell you the most insane I heard Gene say. Wolf died in two thousand and five, two thousand. Let me tell you the most insane I heard Gene say, bro. Gene said, yeah. Um, Piggy did a pub deal with, with uh, Puff for 200000 Then he found out Puff was writing for all these people. So he said, all y'all got to die. You, Pac, bro. For one, security is not in the room when niggas is drawing up pub deals. Two, why would you want to get the nigga where the pub money come from the niggas' house, right? Gene is talking about and he has no knowledge of, bro. He's but how would you say that? I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to tell you why. When we're moving, no, listen, brother. When we're moving, right, security secures. When you go in that building, right, outside the door, door, in the lobby. Puff was family, bro. They jumped him in, bro. It don't matter. Come on. Hold on. Game security is family. They was family. Listen to me. In order to be security, right? Listen, in order to be security, right? As family, you have to secure, meaning you're outside the door. You're not in there at that round table, bro. You're outside the door to make sure a nigga can't get to the Artists, you're in that parking lot. You're usually roaming because Gene had niggas under him. So he had to roam for them niggas there, them niggas over there. He had to watch the whole scene. When niggas is doing them documents and negotiating them deals, ain't no security in the room, bro. All right, y'all. Appreciate y'all for tuning in. So 
Wag pulling that TK Kirkland again. Only thing about TK, he seemed like he was 10 places at one time in history when something happened. He was there, right? Wack actually pulls out receipts, right? And it's amazing to all of us. But after covering them for a while, you expect the receipts to come. No matter how wild the story or how you can't attach them to it. It's a Kevin Bacon degree of separation effect going on. Anyway, man, it's your boy Dan. To like, comment, subscribe. Till next time, we out.